Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. 8.0 is live in Korea. This update includes many changes. We've got new location App Saranta, new instance, new gear, new level cap, new Davenian talent system, new pledge system, new Lord Relic system, changes to DP skills, a grudge for your mounts, new transformations and much more. You know, I always prefer to make detailed guides and to provide accurate info in my videos. So I'm gonna wait until this patch arrives to Russian test server so I can explore everything in detail and record comprehensive guides with corresponding footage. As for today's video, I'd like to show you how NCSoft is trying to attract players with the kickoff of the new patch. There is a bunch of very simple events. The first event is called Avatar. Once per account you can create a level 80 character and receive tons of supportive items. As you can see I've just created a gunner and there are some chests in my inventory. It's plus 5 legendary reseal set. It includes weapon, armor and accessories. On top of that the character also gets such freebies as pots, transformation scrolls, Yasba's grace and slot stones. The only thing I was upset about is the very little amount of Kina. I've also noticed Sigma skills on my bar, so I decided to open the menu to see what's going on, because obviously I didn't put any stigmas, I didn't manage the skill bar because I've just created a character. So um, I opened the menu and I found a fixed set of socketed plus 9 stigmas. These event stigmas are specific and cannot be sold. The second event is called Carobar's Missions. It's very easy, you just do simple things like, you know, enter some instance, extract one piece of equipment, open mana stone slot, um, use combat experience extractor, etc. And you get rewarded with nice items such as plus 15 ultimate equipment, level A minions, Davinian skill books, enchantment stones, ultimate mana stones, ultimate fragments of memory and other valuable stuff. As I already said, the tasks are simple. For example, I got some cubelets from Kubinerx laboratory, I registered them and received a full set of plus 9 stigmas. And that's on top of those 8 stigmas which I got when creating an avatar character. By the way, all these event stigmas are easy to equip because the cost of socketing equals 1 kina during the event period. The third event is basically a rework that Rhea Pass. And guess what? On day 1 you get a legendary transformation contract that allows you to transform into Absaranta Adventurer. This transformation has both attack and casting speed, so it may not match some classes. However, a more appealing transformation can be acquired on day 14, when you will get a selection box of legendary transformations 10 types. And that's it for today. As you can see, these events are very simple and rewarding. It doesn't matter if you're a new or returning or veteran player, you can participate and obtain cool stuff. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon.